is me, Brian. And before I get into the beer that I'm drinking and reviewing today, I'd like to first speak about Hank Aaron. As you know, today we lost a baseball legend. Um, Hank Aaron died at the age of 86, I believe, today. Rest in peace, Hank Aaron. Um, he was one of the two greatest remaining players alive um, on this earth. Uh, I think Willie Mays is the other. Um, but rest in peace, Hank Aaron. Rest in peace to all the baseball Hall of Famers and greats that we have lost um, in the past several months. I mean, we lost uh, uh, Sutton, Don Sutton, uh, a couple days ago. We lost Tom Seaver, Bob Gibson, Whitey Ford. Um, so we've lost a lot over the couple, last couple of months um, and Hank Aaron today. So rest in peace. Today, I'm drinking Grosch Pilsner beer. And it has a very familiar bottle and flip cap. And here's what it looks like. It is a Dutch beer that's been made a long time. This one is called a premium Pilsner beer. Apparently in uh, internationally they call it the premium lager beer. I'll be honest folks, I do not anticipate liking this beer. However, it comes in these neat containers. And for about nine bucks, you can get a four pack. So I have a four pack of these, and regardless of whether I drink them or not, I will have four empty green bottles. And what am I gonna do with these bottles? Well, I'm going to use them to store some homemade liqueurs in the future if I choose to make more and store some of my mixes, my lime juice, my lemon juice, my lemon lime sour mix, if you will, and a simple syrup. So I have an ulterior motive in getting this beer specifically. Number one, I wanna try it. Number two, I'm going to save the bottle so I can have something nice looking and also functional since it has this uh, flip cap, functional to help preserve my sour mix um, and simple syrup and whatever I choose to make homemade. So with that said, let's get right into it. So the great thing about this cap is you don't need a bottle opener. And it's highly uh, pressurized, as you can hear from the pop. And as I expected, very, very light. So I expect this to be a very light tasting. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of carbonation. Extremely carbonated. Uh, Light head that lingers a bit. Um, very light colored, about a yellow color. Smells of like regular lager. Nothing distinctive here besides the bottle. Very, very carbonated, still bubbling up, still bubbling up. The head is still persisting. It's about a finger's worth of head. Well, anyway, prost, my friends. Let me just finish this up. Empty bottle for reuse. Well, this uh, beer is 5% alcohol by volume, so light on the alcoholic uh, content. Um, not smelling anything distinctive. Taste wise, it's an ordinary lager, if you ask me. Um, I think that's reflected in its price. Um, Nine dollars for a four pack. Mm. 
Now you may be thinking nine dollars for a four pack. Actually, you know, you can get a six pack for for nine bu bucks, and you can. But you can also buy the Chimay's of the world, where one um, 33CL um, bottle will cost you about seven bucks. So uh, this is very economical if you're looking for a light lager to drink and you don't want uh, something ordinary like a Budweiser. You get what you expect with this one. Nothing to write home about. Um, if I were to go to the Netherlands, I wouldn't seek this out either because there's nothing about it that stands out. It's a very ordinary, ordinary tasting beer. Uh, with, it. with that said, on a taste scale, overall scale, I should say, I'd probably give this about 70 out of 100. Um, Expectation-wise, 100 out of 100. You know, it's nothing unexpected here. Not sweet. A tad bitter. Very bubbly. Maybe they should call this the champagne of beers, not Miller High Life, because this is very bubbly. Still bubbly. Perpetual. Well, folks, that's it for my review of Grosh, if I'm saying it right, beer. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, check out my trailer, hit the button in the bottom right-hand corner, and I will see you later.